Good morning, Gators! It's currently 8.36 and you're watching KGTR on this bright sunny morning. Uh, the wind chill is about 46 degrees outside and today is December 11th, 2009. Captain Troop's award-winning reporter, Double T, for this story. As we began our search for the mythical areas of Captain Shreve that have so long been rumored about, such as bomb shelters and storage facilities, we realized one thing, Shreve has a lot of air conditioners and doors. But indeed, through some of these doors exist places not well traveled. In addition, the existence of an underground facility did prove true, and though it is not quite a bomb shelter, it is a unique place to be. See, we are actually in the hidden tunnel right now. Um, it appears it's used as more of an air shaft than anything else. Um, due to its uh, confidentiality, we can't actually tell you, tell you where the shaft is at, but um, it's, it's definitely a unique experience being down here. I'm about uh, three miles below the earth right now, and the, uh, the oxygen is starting to get pretty thin down here. Um, I hope I make it out alive, guys. Back to you. Shreve certainly holds its own secrets, and myths will continue to revolve around its secret places. As for that underground shelter that has for so long been rumored of, I guess the world will never know. Man, I could just listen to that reporter all day long. He definitely needs an A. I mean a raise. <coughs> Sorry. Let's go to Tevin and Jordan for a couple public service announcements. Hi there, my name is Tevin Person, and I'm here to tell you some great study tips on how to pass your midterm. The first big tip is, before you come to school, eat a big breakfast so you'll be ready to go. The second big tip is, stay ahead of time and break the study time into sections so you won't overwhelm yourself. The last tip is, have a good night's sleep so you can be ready to go for the next day. And If you follow all these tips, I promise you, you will be successful on your midterm. So he hits you. Statistics show that teen violence has staggered in the last 10 years. Just like love, violence runs over any race, age, or gender. But love does not hurt. It does not inflict pain, demoralize you, or make you feel inferior. If you feel threatened, make it known. You can talk to a parent, teacher, or counselor, but whatever you do, break the cycle. Welcome back to KGTR. In other news, the Gators basketball and soccer teams have been quite busy lately. Last week, the Gators played Woodlawn. Although they could not pull through wins, they still played great. And don't let me forget about that uh, Mansfield Cap Shreve game. Uh, the boys won 72-69. Great job, guys. Cody, we can't forget about soccer. Last weekend, the girls' varsity soccer played in the Gator Cup against Loyola and DeVitter. And unfortunately, they couldn't pull through a win, but they played a great game. In addition, JV also played in a tournament and took home all the marbles. 
Great job, guys. In other news, we're now going to go to Keeping It Real. And Cody, from what I understand, people were actually injured in the making of this. I don't want to talk about it, okay? Okay, let's just roll the footage. Video games. We've all played them, but for some, it's not just a hobby, it's a lifestyle. One fellow Gator is going to show us what an addictive gamer does each day. So, unlike a lot of other gamers, I'm very diversified in all the games I play. I, I play too much soccer, you know? I, I can't commit to my games. You know, actually, I gotta go right now. I gotta get ready for my soccer tournament. So, you know, life of a gamer, it's... It's not easy. Go! Yeah! Who's your daddy now? What's up, man? Bring it on. How you like that robot? Get you a little windmill, man. Yeah! So, I've only been playing for like an hour today against all my friends, and, you know, I just, I don't know if it's enough. We, we really gotta practice. I, we're meeting up before school, and we really gotta talk about our game plan and our strategies. I sh you know, I don't know. Okay, you guys ready for tonight? Oh yeah. You wanna hear the game plan? Yeah. Uh -huh. Alright, here's here's exactly what we're gonna do. Colton, I want you to push the right side. Mm -hmm. Barnett, I want you to take up sniping position okay. on Tears of Hills. Okay. Wait! Hills of Tears! What? I'm sorry. We oh. can't do that! That's why we no. lost No, no, he has to go. That's where I lost Tommy! He has to! He has to! <laughs> That's where I lost Tommy! Logan is pushing the middle! We can't do it! Logan is pushing the middle! <laughs> this is Logan, okay? Hello? Mom! Not now! Oh, crap. Okay. The bell's about to ring. We gotta go. All right. Check in at 1200 hours. All right. All right. Roger that. All right, guys, this is what we gotta do. You got point, you go out there, you take this, this is your shield. This is your gun. You got it? You got it. All right, you, you follow the rear? No. I like you closer to the front. You get the rear, all right? And I'll be right behind you, baby. You ready? Let's do this! get made fun of and uh but it's what makes us happy so that's all that really matters great keeping it real cody phenomenal tim touching my heart here bud <laughs> Alrighty, before we go we'd just like to congratulate our student of the year winner andrew murphy great job uh go to schooltube.com if you want to see any of the kgtr episodes this week any other week they're there also if you have any suggestions and you'd like to drop them by come by room 108 there's a box on the door you can just drop your suggestions in. Tim, um, got a question. Can I close it up a little differently this week? Uh, yeah, can I guess so. You need to bust their arm for me. Okay. Thanks for watching this week's show. If you didn't like it, please let us know. We'll see you in a week, and that ain't too far. Hey, holla at you. It's KBTR.